Welcome to the Sales Influence Podcast, where we talk about finding the why in how people buy. I'm your host, Victor Antonio. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for lending me your ears. Today, I want to talk about how do you demo a service or product or feature? I want to talk about a simple formula that you might have heard, but I'm going to give it a different spin to make you more effective at presenting this formula. Now, we all know basic presentation skills, right? Tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you just told them. Typical sequence, I'll repeat. Tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you just told them. Now, what I want to do is layer something else on top of this, and that is let's make it more value-centric or, dare I say, customer-centric to the actual client. We're going to tell them, but we're going to also tell them and show them how it applies to them. So instead of just tell them what we're gonna tell them, we're gonna frame it as an issue. So we're gonna do an issue statement, then we're gonna show them, and then we're gonna talk about a issue resolution. In other words, how do we resolve that issue? Let me go through this slowly. This is so key that if you're listening to this, I mean, really pay attention because it will change how you present. So remember, basic formula, tell them, tell them what you're gonna tell them, and tell them what you just told them. Let's twist it. Let's begin the telling part with an issue statement. Something like this. Mr. Client, Mr. Prospect, let me show you how to view, let's say I'm showing some software, some demo to track salespeople's activities and revenue. I'll say, Mr. Customer, Mr. Prospect, let me show you how to view your revenue or your pipeline on one screen and how to do it in two simple clicks. Because Mr. Prospect, I know, your time is valuable, and sometimes you need the information quickly. Notice how I tee that up. The issue is you need to see the information, but you also want it, what, quickly. So again, I teed that up. Let me show you how you're going to view your salesperson's revenues and their pipeline with a couple of clicks on one screen, because you don't have to look at multiple screens, one screen, and how you can access that information quickly. And then I move to the second phase. Now I show them. Click, drag, drop, bam, Mr. Customer, there it is. Now I go to the last part. I'm not going to, I just showed them something, so I'm going to tell them what I just showed them, but I'm going to resolve the issue. Just think, I like to use these phrasing, just think, just imagine how easy it's going to be for you to pull numbers down with from the system immediately, almost on demand with a few clicks. And again, it's a simple example, but what I'm trying to highlight here is that when we're doing the tell them, tell them what you're going to tell them, show them, and then tell them what you just told them, you really have to figure out what that structure is within a presentation. And you're going to have a lot of these mini structures within a larger presentation. So for example, you're going to create an issue statement. Mr. Prospect, wouldn't it be nice to be able to look at all your sales slash pipeline information on one screen instead of multiple screens? And wouldn't it be nice to do it with two simple clicks? Customer's gonna say, yeah, that would be great. Mentally, that's what they're gonna say. Then you demo. Then you tell them about the issue you just resolved for them. Now that you can do this, just imagine, Mr. Prospect, how easy it is gonna be for you to have the information not only available quickly, but to have meaningful conversations with your salespeople right there and then. So I just resolved an issue. Now, if my software or product resolves another issue, I'm gonna use the same structure. So I'm almost gonna daisy chain these all the way throughout. In other words, I'm gonna find out what are three, maybe five issues that the customer has that I know, based on my experience working with customers just like them, they typically have these three to five issues. What I will then do is use that sequence, issue stated, show them, and then the issue resolved, just imagine. And then that's one issue, then I'll do it again for the next issue, so forth and so on. And as you daisy chain these together, you're telling a story, you're creating a narrative, but you're showing the customer that your software is easy to use, they can get the information they want, but more importantly, they can get it in a timely manner. That is how you should do a proper demo of your features 
and your products. And that is it for the Sales Influence Podcast. Leave me some feedback on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Spotify, Pandora. Love to know what you think about this simple strategy that anyone can implement. And after you do that, again, check out the Sales Velocity Academy. We've added some new courses. I'm super excited. We have something called Fast Classes on the platform now. So if you don't have a lot of time to study something or really learn, if you love these podcasts, you're going to love these Fast Classes because they're 50 to 20 minutes and they give you content, pure 100% on a decorated sales training contact. And lastly, this is Victor Antonio, always reminding you, sell a name hard when you know how. Take care. Hi, I'm Victor Antonio. I'm an author, sales trainer, and keynote speaker. I'm often asked, what makes a great speaker? Is it someone who delivers real content that the audience can use? Is it someone who engages the audience so they're part of the learning experience? Or is it someone who can motivate an audience to push them beyond their comfort zone and discover new abilities? The answer is yes, but the most important thing to remember is that I'm not there to look good. I'm there to make my client look good. Simply put, it's never about me and it's always about them.